two mega pops is an achievement in balloons tower defense six where you need to get two million or more pops with a single tower in an entire chimps game and today we're going to be doing this with the transforming tonic a downgraded version of total transformation except the huge uh, near 50,000 price tag involved so yeah <laughs> it's going to be a bit different from that video and it's not going to be as arduous as well considering that huge hefty price tag like with a lot of runs we start with a monkey sub so that then we can submerge it later on it won't do won't do <laughs> sorry won't do any pops whatsoever when it's submerged Let's get Geraldo down so that he can support our endeavors in this two mega pops quest. If we can find the beauty spot to then be able to place down three towers over here without them attacking a single balloon. Jar of pickles so that we can get through this round without needing to contest both blue balloons and red balloons where we can pop through both layers at once. Here comes the bulk of a wave here and no issues whatsoever. What's our next game? We're going to get our Alchemist down and get it up to a 042 at some point. Yes, we like those acid pools. We like the faster growing. And most definitely, we like the transforming tonic because it's in the name of the title of this video. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be a stupid video otherwise. I'm going to have to admit, once we get past round 80, things are going to get significantly easier because we can control the speed of the balloons and also control our damage. What do I mean by that? Well, in its current form, it's going to do very minimal damage, but when you so when you transform it, sorry, you're going to be able to inflict so much damage. But it's like, you can control how much damage that there is because it only does a very bare minimal amount. So we have ourselves this scenario here. Are we going to be able to get through this round? Yes we definitely will so the next game is uh we're gonna get stronger acid actually so we can get through more layers of balloons more quickly twin guns have a longer range so that a submarine can aim down here as well in case if there's any escapees acid pool time because who's gonna say no to acid pool well some people probably think that you can just stick with faster throwing and that's it but nah we're going all the way down this. Well, not all the way down, but just, just took the first two upgrades, oh, okay? Let me have some pulls among the fields of these logs, these swampy logs. What are you doing in this swamp? Now then, let's put some stack of old nails at the end of the track so we don't have to worry about <laughs> not being able to afford submerged support here. Since Ninja Kiwi nerfed the price of it in update 41. Within the first 40 rounds, we're going to need to sacrifice several thousand pops by using our sub. That's just so that we can actually just get through these rounds. So that we can actually reach the point where our alchemist can become somewhat self-sufficient with some glue support as well. Okay, lead balloons. Absolutely no issue. The alchemist has the acid attack type, which is essentially the same as normal be able to attack anything and it won't resist our attack so when i first like encountered the alchemist i always thought it's like the same as like i don't know plasma because it's magical base or energy base but no it's alchemical it can go through the molecules of anything and everything let's go to submersion support so that we can actually uh de sorry decamo five these camo balloons thank you very much so, hopefully by itself, the Alchemist will be able to get through this round. Yeah. Two red balloons, non issue whatsoever. And once we have eradicated our camo threat, let us de well, de -sub unsubmerge? Yeah, desubmerge doesn't make any sense, for goodness sakes. And no, we're not blind plutonium reactor. It doesn't make any sense. Unstable concoction ready for round 40 because this is going to code Moab class balloons in a explosive substance in which when they are popped creates an explosion around them which can also cause a chain reaction to other unstable concocted Moab class balloons. Yes, there are several terminologies that you hear in this game that you'll never ever find in any other game. <laughs> there is. I love it. 
and sometimes I feel like I just make them up on the spot because I just can, okay? And thank you for reappearing. Submerge button! You clearly are a nerf in update 41. I don't understand this button. It was perfect for way before, Ninja Kiwi, with the scrolling to the left and right until you find Submerge. What was bad about that system? I would like some permanent camera detection at some point. So we are going to be placing down a monkey village over here. And as you've seen by the, <laughs> the thumbnail of this video, yes, we're going to go to Homeland Defense and not just stick with call to arms, okay? Because I can do it, okay? Let's go with jungle drums. You know it's very insignificant on our alchemist here? As Tesco's would say, every little helps. Let's go for round 38. Now we're on round 39. I, I really don't like this round, actually. <laughs> it's for regrows at the end, but I don't like them most, honestly. Regrow rainbows. Let them go out of control, and there will be 200,000 regrow rainbows. With the monetary rewards of just two of them. Uh, I know there will be a number that will just cause your PC to crash. I honestly think that... <laughs> I honestly think that uh, graphic card designers shouldn't test their games by testing the top-notch games. They should just test it by how many rounds they can survive in Balloon Sound of N6. I'm going to glue the rainbows back here just so that we can disperse what we're hitting at at any given point in time. And we're also able to slow down the strongest most balloons on this round, which actually is... Yes, yeah, helping us out here thoroughly. And there goes round 39, now round 40. So we're going to unsubmerge this. We're going to buy, uh, let's see, what, what level is it? Level 8. And then put a Jerry's Fire on our Alchemist here. So that we can actually do some, we can do a lot of damage now. And we don't, possibly don't need our uh, submarine here anymore. Can we go for this round? Obviously, that is the case. Thank you, Stack of Old Nails, at the end of the track. With submersion support, we don't directly need the radar scanner, but we will need it at some point, especially with the fact that our Joe's fire cannot hit purples, for goodness sakes. Transforming tonic! This is going to be very powerful, especially in combination with, like, overclock and call to arms, ultra boost. Sorry, not ultra boost. We can't afford that. We're not that stupid to go for that puff. Uh, this isn't turbocharge all pops. Actually, let's get radar scanner now, just so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. But can we... Oh, we might need to actually unsubmerge the submarine still so we can pop these. Or go to strong so that then we are actually able to, you know, just prioritize the purple balloons once they get in range. That sort of jazz, can we? I mean, acid can go through purple, but it seems that we... Oh my god, we used up our last nail at the end of a tracker. <laughs> Leave no evidence behind. Oh, more purples, more abominations to try and count. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're going to need to unsubmerge our submarine at some point because there's just too many of them to target. Well, actually, we can't just put some glue on the track so we can slow them down. That would be the dumb thing to do, wouldn't it, Player Blues? That's what I put down in the comment section, even though I never even typed it yet. You should have done it in the first attempt if it is not a black border guide. And there goes round 48. Lovely. The glob of glue there really helped us out there. Round 49. Are we going to... Yeah, we're going to use Transforming Tonic. We're going to... Prioritize for ceramics and then go back to just the regulars. Okay, so was this the right call? I might think that this might not be the right call at this given point in time. Yeah, because I think we next get purples on round 62, so we can just get it later on. 013 Goo Gunner to slow down the Moabs when we get to round 50. I know there's Moab on round 40, but we didn't have the Goo Gunner down at that given point in time. Can we utilize the timing of this? Yeah, let's let's try and use it as late as possible so that we can actually have the maximum usage of this on the round. Yes, we got through the regrow rainbows already. Right, that's okay. Okay, we apply the Jerry's fire. We won't be able to get very far without it. And thankfully, the transforming tonic had enough ability duration so that we can actually, you know, use it on the first Moab. 
And shall we use it on the second Moab? I'll tell you what the answer is. Why not? Why not use it on it? Unless it's a detriment to our survival, which I don't think it will be. When we have some traffic control, sorry, speed control here, we're able to extend our usages of these abilities because of the fact that we're slowing down the movement speed of these balloons, which means we have more time on the track, more time before they are able to defeat us with a stupid game over screen. Boom goes the dynamite. And sometimes like with dynamite, it causes a chain reaction of the many, many splosies. That's explosions, but just a different way of saying it. And now I'm not the one who made up on the spot. Don't look at me like that, okay? I see you behind there, looking at me and judging me all uncharacteristically like. And there goes the other Moab of this round. Can we go through the rest of this round without requiring ourselves Brickle's Bist Pistol, sorry? And that's not going to be the case. So what's going to be next on our agenda? I think possibly... Hmm. Overclock? But then again, round 62 is going to be an issue if we don't have MIB. So I think we'll just get MIB and not worry about anything else at this given point in time. Let's just use our transforming tonic. And go through the first lot of ceramics, okay. Go through the second lot of ceramics, okay. What about the third lot? Sometimes it's nice to put it on strong so that you're always targeting the ceramics with your um, acid so that you're able to get through more layers than you would normally otherwise if you're trying to target a red balloon and not use that DPS wisely. Just use Jerry's fire for red balloons, okay? While you do everything else, Alchemist, but then again, Jerry's fire and anything else would be nice as well. Don't discount me out on a good time. I don't fancy the utter madness of doing this particular 2MP on another map. <laughs> it's just simply because Logs is just like the most manageable map when it comes to two mega props. It easily has like one of the easiest layouts in order to try and learn and be able to familiarize yourself with towers that can help you on your two mega props run. Like we're not using all of them. We would also be using a balloon sabo if we want to fully optimize this run but i'm not gonna lie we don't need it four moabs two of a slaughter ah 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 <laughs> oh i love this ability it's just it's probably the most forgotten tower in the game the middle path alchemist because because when do you actually see it in, like, competitive gameplay or anything like that? Like, what is its usages? There's, like, far, there's like other options that will help you out in, let's say, boss scenarios as well. Like, you're not going to buy yourself a trans total transformation in where other towers will do the same thing, but at a fraction of a price. We are kind of struggling on this round, though, which is quite annoying. It's regrows, which are a particular issue. If we can get our ability back in time, then that might be good. But yeah, this will require another dob of glue. Hopefully, this will do it. If not, then we'll require two because of the regrows. Might be. Might be. Don't. Okay, good. You didn't run out, which is good. We've got enough time in order to get our ability back and go ham and cheese among these balloons. Quick, check oh yeah, the first BFB of the day, lovely. Can we take down this BFB without requiring our ability? Only one way to find out. It's got two pink slash purple substances on it. Number one, the Moab glue. And number two, the acid from the transforming tonic alchemist. And can we go through this round without requiring the ability? Oh, no, we're not. no, no, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. We're going to use it. It's probably going to screw us on this round, but we've got other means to be able to replenish our... We don't, actually. Well, that sucks. Me sad face for no reju potions at the moment, but one day we will get there, okay? We will get there. You will be replenished. Now we can have overclock. How beneficial so beneficial beneficial is this going to be for our endeavors probably not a huge amount but i'd still like to have that additional attack speed then not have it but 
It's just a matter of can we get through this round? Can we? Oh, I hate these regrow balloons, honestly. They're such a menace. And obviously, that one's going to be very far away, which means we can't use the ability for round 63. That's just fantastic game. But screw me over with a single balloon like that again. Just like with other scenarios, you have to leave one balloon. I could have I could have just not ended round 62, but I was like, I can't be bothered. Our weakness by far is just a huge amount of clumped up balloons with our current build. So if we can find some ways of chucking back even a small amount of these numbers, then that would be greatly appreciated game. So that then we can get our ability back and then wipe out all of these balloons. But hopefully we can get to that point. Some of them are making their way through. Please chuck them. Okay, we, we're good. We're good. We're very good. We're going to go through the rest of this round now. And... I wish, that balloon, I wish that balloon was slower, for goodness sakes. That's one time where I wish a single balloon actually does us benefits. But no, you had to pop too quickly, didn't you? The game knows what I'm thinking. And that is why it is indeed annoying me. Use that ability, and we should be able to get through round 64 just fine. Now round 65, a bunch of zebras. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in the wild, enjoying life. Not be in this trapped world disguised as a balloon. You should be enjoying life as it is, wherever you come from. Okay, round 65. Let us just absolutely exterminate the balloons as late as we possibly can so we can get the maximum usage of its ability. Sometimes if a challenge is hard enough, we will not be doing one of our TED Talks, which means it could be... <laughs> Could be one of those breaks within a gigantic talk, and sometimes it feels like one episode of Flare Balloons is a predecessor or the successor of a current video. Which means sometimes you have to watch the previous video to see what the previous antics were, and then tune into the next episode for more stupid antics, or nice antics depending on perspective. But can we actually get through this round of our losing our sanity here and the, and the answer is going to be yes actually we're not going to lose our sanity at the moment yeah not getting transport so total transformation is a blessing because we don't have to spend that money even though the ability lasts for longer we're not exactly not we're not exactly losing out on power are we i should think we could benefit greatly from a glue strike so that all our attacks does plus one plus two damage to um Balloons when they are struck by the glue, glue strike ability. We're not going to go to glue storm unless we have enough money for glue storm. But I honestly don't think it's required. I don't think the constant barrage of glue from the sky is required. Oh heavenly glue gods! Please keep sending us your wonderful chemicals so that the balloons are slowed and they have more damage provided on them. We got through the magical number without needing the total transfer to to transforming tonic ability. I keep saying total for some odd reason. Uh, we all make mistakes. Then again, if I didn't make a mistake, then it wouldn't be a flare balloons video. Who are you? And what have you done with flare balloons? I think it's better if we do have Jerry's fire. Then not have Jerry's fire for goodness sake. Uh, <laughs> no! Damn it! I was being a bit too cocky there. Fine, we'll use it again to get through this round. Nice. A little bit of storage there, so our ability comes back. Sometimes there is a bit of a range bug with a transforming tonic to where um sometimes the alchemist thinks that its actual range is um the transforming tonics range when its ability is active rather than when the ability is not active. So sometimes it can throw acid towards the BFB over here, for example. When its range obviously dictates that it cannot do that. Range bug confirmed again? Not really. Although we do have a lot of regrowth here, which is annoying. But we can get through it. Blue strike and... Yeah, we don't need transforming tonic. I keep having the tendency to try and say total or transformation first before the other thing. 
not transforming transformation there's so many balloons here wondering if i should use my abilities or not and that is going to be a yes we will use it maybe we used it at the wrong time nah there's no such thing as a wrong time on this channel only a wrong time the first time i said ron it's r-o-n but this time i said it as in w-r-o-n-g ron ronald mcdonald had a farm and in this swamp there's no farm i do want call to arms next so that we can increase our attack speed and peers especially when the transforming tonic ability is active Ooh, the destruction we're going to cause when we get all of our attack speeds up <laughs> i don't think you're going to be prepared for the utter destruction upon these helium i was going to say helium inflated uh balloons here what's the opposite of inflated um am i thinking it wrong inflated deflated maybe it's just me Oh, good, good, good. Uh, yes, run out, please. And... Please don't attack too soon. Please don't attack... No! <laughs> I didn't want you to attack too soon. Okay, now we're going to have to contest with all these bloody regrows. Uh, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem here. Who is it? No, not a problem. Somehow I thought it was going to be a problem, but alas, I amaze even myself. Sometimes my genius is almost frightening, but also unpredictable as well. Round 77 is complete thanks to the power of transforming tonic and its stupidly OP asinine drugs. Is it drugs? Nah, it's alchemy. It's a different thing altogether. Even though it will send you to a different universe, just like drugs would. Certain ones. Or at the moment, we've got ourselves a far bigger issue at hand. I could have used the ability and saved myself there, but... Nah, we're not about that life. Can we hold them off long enough to activate the ability this time around? And that's going to be a yes. Oh, I love that red balloon. I love that red balloon. That's a nice red balloon. Second wave of ceramics of the round stand no chance against our glue and acid combo. And soon ice as well. Oh, we've got call to arms now. Lovely. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to use it without call to arms so that we can get through this round. Oh, a fair few balloons left. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry's Fire also incorporates the Transforming Tonic range bug as well. It's not like the range bug I mentioned, like, um, when certain amount of mob class balloons are close enough to each other that it forms some kind of range bug stack. I'm just referring to, like, when the, uh, the range of the uh, alchemist here goes in and out. So can we get through this round, please, without requiring our souls extracted from our body? Yeah, we needed the um, quarter arms ability active there, but oh my god, look at the amount of regrowth, but look at the amount of firepower that we had there. Totally a weapon of mass destruction, and it is in the form of the land of the unreal, because it is alchemy. There's no such thing as real alchemy. And we get through the rest of this round, and that's going to be a yeah. So, for 80s, I would say a size 83. I'm going to say this right now. We're going to have a much smoother time because of the speed of the balloons themselves. We're not going to need to worry, per se, about the speed of these balloons because they're going very slow anyway so we can have enough usages of this so we can go through these rounds without requiring our sanity to be torn limb from limb so glue strike call to arms and um transforming tonic i keep forgetting the name of it it's it's not a tower that i use a lot of use at all really just because it's such a rare thing to think ah oh, this is the correct tower for this solution Blue strike, cool to arms, and total tr tr transforming. I just said it a few moments ago. Uh, yeah, again, it keeps incorporating the acid to these far back balloons here, and it shouldn't be able to reach over there. 
Um, more, the more things I discover, the more I just unable to comprehend what's going on. This is a game about monkeys popping balloons. It shouldn't make any sense whatsoever. And why am I trying to make sense of it? I don't know, because I can. So, Transforming Tonic is active and... Yeah, you can see why these rounds are going to be significantly easier because they're all Moab class balloons. All of the RBE is all contained to a huge body, and that body can move very slowly, which is what we want actually. So that we're able to use our abilities enough in order to pop all of them. If you're all ceramics, then this is going to be a nightmare for us. When we go up to Snowstorm, yes, we can't attack, but the aura that it emits, that doesn't have any line of sight blockers. So you can have the aura there and slow down balloons, which is quite handy to have, actually. Not vital towards your success, but it's just a little bit of help here and there. And with that, we've now got absolute zero, as in absolute zero chances of failure whatsoever. We have a means of permanently slowing down all balloons on the screen all at once, except if your name is bad. Uh, yeah, let's just go for the rest of this round, because the UMGs are very slow, and they're about to be even slower, thanks to the ability usage of Absolute Zero. If you don't know, it can, if you have permafrost, cause it so that not only are they slowed down because of the ability itself, but the permafrost has been applied to male class balloons only because it's Absolute Zero. Snowstorm has, um, it, it only affects uh, non mode class balloons. So the order in which you should do this is, um, Overclock, Absolute Zero, Glue Strike, and then the other two from there, and that's just brilliant. Just absolutely obliterate two ZMGs just like that. Yeah, this is definitely an ability reliant run. Round 86, same story use our abilities here and there and we should be able to go for all of these balloons <laughs> is round 87 going to be the same can we do the same on this round well we're gonna try anyways and yeah because of unstable concoction it can cause such a huge ex <laughs> huge um, explosive reaction but it can i don't know if it's theoretically possible to affect every single marvel class balloon on the entire screen if they're all clumped up together and they all have the unstable concoction acid poured onto them but we do have some lingering balloons left which i am happy to use glue strike on just to slow them down and there goes round 87. also under a call to arms we can lay down a l i know whatsoever but we can lay down a lot of acid pools not that necessary now, but it's a nice addition to have. Same again, and hope we can go through the rest of the scenario. ZMGs, down to Moabs, down to Ceramics. Nearly down to Ceramics anyways. I shouldn't have jinxed my shelf by shame that too soon. And there goes the rest of round 88. Round 89, a bunch of fortified Moabs, a bunch of fortified BF. Base. Uh, it's all fortified in this hood. Although, thanks to perishing potions, and this is the only scenario in which you would want perishing potions, not as a support tower, but offense, um, to strip away the fortified property off of non Moab class balloons. And there goes round 89. Can we freeze these up here? Yes, we can, just to get our ability back ready for those pesky DDTs. Round 90, DDTs. Let's see now. Can we use... Can we do this entire round without needing to use the ability? I know it sounds daft, but... Could it be possible? Could it... Oh, one of our DDTs just exploded. And the second one exploded. And what about the other one? Oh, its lights are still quite bright, though. Oh, actually, the front lights aren't. Its fins are gone. Can we do it? We can question oh i thought that was going to disappear then as in be removed from the map as in escape the map that would be good wait why do you think it would be good let's snipe these moab costumes i should have used absolute zero first before blue strike so it doesn't give that bonus damage and we've gone through round 91 yeah you're trying to reach over there but you're no 
Transforming tonic there, Jerry's fire. Let's buy some time and Kapoya. Kapoya Kasha. And there goes the fortified Moabs. Or all of almost all of them. I keep speaking too soon, but that is one of my fortes. And there they go. Just the ZMGs left to disintegrate. And heck, that huge explosion there. <laughs> well, explosions, that's just brilliant. Round 93. DDTs. Get you some absolute zero so that you're slowed down. I think you're strong actually so that you were targeting DDTs. There goes. Well, none of them so far, but they will go at some point. They always do. Let's see, absolute zero. Slow them down. Keep on going. Can we go through this round as well without needing to use the tr Don't you... Look, Jerry's fire. You're meant to burn it, okay? You have upgraded Jerry's fire. Why did you allow this useless balloon to disappear? And this time, because of glue strike, this round appeared to be much more successful than the previous attempt for unknown reasons. Yeah, that was much better that... You better not. <laughs> you better not jinx me now. And then she's trying to totally transforming tonic on the rest of them. Uh, I know this is going to be a long video, but it's definitely not going to be as long as the total transformation video. That one was over an hour long. And that's discluding all the parts I cropped out. Round 94, very slow round. A very good round. Let's put you on strong, actually, so you can target some of the ZMGs. And... Okay, we popped some of them, but not all of them. Which is ideal for some speed control. Let's have some zero use. Let's use Goose Strike on you. Episode 2 of this coinage. Keep on going, keep on going. Destroy the behemoths of these rounds. Don't let them leave the map. Thank you very much. Maybe I popped those EMGs too soon, actually. Because now we've got ourselves a bit of a problem here in the name of ceramics. A single ZMG left and it should be able to go down just like that. And then, okay, round 95. It's going to be a very interesting round. All of these non-Moab glass balloons followed up by a bunch of Moab glass balloons. This is really interesting. Blue Strike. Yeah, we'll use Glue Strike actually just to slow down some of these balloons here. We're going to need it. And then, not right now, but at the right time, we should use Absolute Zero. And then from there, we're going to be using the other abilities, such as these. Go through the Strong Balloons. Go through the Strong Balloons. Go through the DETs. Get through the DET layers, please. Please, please. Please. I guess it's not going to do that to all of them, but the sheer majority of them, it managed to do so. Uh, just that last ET up there, which exploded. The alchemist speciality when it comes to the middle part is explosions. Alchemical explosions. Not the usual bomb type explosions, but when certain chemicals are put together, then it creates a chain reaction, then explodes. You're asking the wrong person here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was round 95. Now we're presented with the last five rounds of the game. And our sanity somehow still intact. AK away from Homeland Defense. And once we get Homeland Defense, our destruction will be even more to the balloons. Oh, come off it, really? Uh, Jerry's fire, can't you just not target the ZMGs even though they block your line of sight like you're, you're over us you're over the monkey surely you can go over the balloons as well and find your target how about some pickles for a change we really need our, our total trans sorry transforming tonic ability back at some point to get through the rest of us round don't bother moabs too quickly please i uh, need you to come down here just a little bit more Ah, oh, these zoom Gs, there's just so much RBE left in these. And we managed to detonate all of them down to Moabs. For goodness sakes, the power of them just, just de-existifies BFBs. 
Again, not even a word, but I'm using it, okay? Really ability reliance on this round. Or just like every other round in this game. Auto arms. Get that speed up and running. Get every single thing up and running. Thank you very much. Do that bonus. Oh, some of them were about to escape. No thanks. This round should be very easy. Now that we've got home that defense. <laughs> do we need anything else? No. We do not require anything, anything else at all. We may upgrade this to Relentless Glue, but that's about it. So much damage. There's never enough damage against the balloons. Just these ones left. Can we go through the rest of this round? Please? Strip away the fortified property, then finish off the rest? And now, our setup is is going to be complete soon, don't you worry. It's not a requirement to get with that scope, but we can get it. So, round 98. What can we do about these particular balloons here? Well, we can do a hell of a lot, actually. And because now we've essentially got double the pierce and double the attack speed while under this, it's essentially doing four times the amount of damage that we would normally do. Is you're going through twice the number and also at twice the speed. Let's use it again and just say goodbye to round 98. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just not a competition at all. That's why we go with a risky route. Well, not the ultra risky route, but we go with a risky route, okay? Not going to put a bunch of balloon sabos down, which would be actually the safer option. But no, we're going to go with a more riskier route of doing even more damage. That's just a lot of damage right there. Oh, um, I didn't want you. I don't want you to. Oh, for goodness. You had to pop, didn't you, Fortified ET? Where well, you could have just held out a bit longer and be tankier and just use your Fortified status to full use, okay? Second attempt around 99, so we can get our abilities back to remove these pests from the map. Uh, absolute zero of them again. Please do not pop them too quickly. Okay, now we can do whatever you like. Do whatever you like now. Or should actually get this. And there goes this round. So that just leaves us with around 100. What can we do on this round? Well, we could do a huge amount. We're going to let these cool down automatically. Then we could apply some rejuve potions so that we can deliver the damage even more. So overclock. Then we're going to glue strike, homeland defense, and then the transforming tonic. And then apply Reju Potion. Going to do the cycle again. Home my defense again. <laughs> Transform in tonic again. And then do the same thing again. Uh, apply that. Oh my gosh, we got through that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 2 million and 32,000 pops. Isn't that just spectacular? I reckon we could have done even better if the uh, Ice Monkey didn't snag so many pops there. I kind of did myself dirty there because of the fact that we sometimes use Glue Strike before Absolute Zero, which is not the way around. You do it Absolute Zero, then Glue Strike, so that this doesn't get bonus damage. But regardless, this is a very good tower once you get the setup up and running. Yes, we did have Pickles and Jerry's fly at the end. It just expired on the end of round 100. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comment sections below. And let me know what other kind of towers you'd like to see me do a 2 mega pops on. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody.